what is your biggest lesson or what are uh, your lesson in the course of this either moving from litigation law into intellectual and property law or even starting up my digital lawyer what lesson have you learned over the time okay several lessons thank you several lessons but first thing first i'll say do not despise the days of little beginnings yes it's in the bible i'm a christian and um, unapologetically so so i say that boldly wherever i go do not despise the days of little beginnings i mean my digital lawyer started out with my cell phone mm -hmm. and a space in my father's house then i mean i remember my first video was in my father's house at the dining segment and um with lights and um tripod stand it was just a corner for me and my phone my phone was my my biggest tool i would say putting wow. things online so you know most times with young lawyers when you do not have a job you don't have a paid job and you think oh the system has failed you mm -hmm. you can actually start small that's true you can start with your that's... knowledge just your your knowledge as basic as your knowledge your brain you can start yeah. that small i didn't need absolutely so right. much like one million dollars or one million naira to invest into starting up legal practice i just started small and i'm grateful for for those um little beginnings because they channeled me to where i am today that's good i'm not there yet but those little beginnings really helped me you know has brought me to the world i would say yeah. i have clients in canada the united kingdom i have lebanese lebanese clients wow i have indian clients wow i'm not joking that's I've good that's client. good I've... yeah i'm i'm really i'm really excited to hear all that i have never ever seen them before of course i don't think there's any of my international clients i've seen but i have clients in the united states i've not seen them before okay i think one of my clients in the u.s i've seen the person but when we got to work i mean we had it's, it's it's just the same way that we we are hosting that i'm hosting this show I'm hosting you from the United States, and there you are in Nigeria. It's not like maybe we are physically seated next to each other, States, you know. Exactly. So that is just the world that we are today, you know. And That's I think pandemic has really, yeah, the pandemic has really shaping a lot of things, has really bring a lot of potential out in people, you know, in terms of their businesses and their product and services, you know. Uh, uh, that that is one good thing about about the pandemic so without wasting much of your time i'm just going to quickly wrap it up by asking you my next question and my next question is what is the secret of your progress so far what is the secret <laughs> it's not really always easy to dish out your secrets you know because it's a straight secret but then first things first now god Okay, for those in the United States, it is God. That's what we are saying now, God. It's God. It's been God. Hmm. God has It can been, only be so God. It can only be God. God, you got it. So, and um, I'm thankful for direction, yeah. But I'm also thankful for networking. I, I do not um, joke with my network. People I meet online, mm -hmm. I don't joke with them you know people i follow online i follow people that are useful maybe i learn from them or i know they might be clients eventually they might turn out to be clients eventually and yeah. then um not to mix business with um with emotions okay it's a lesson and it's also a secret it's, so it's two ways a lesson to learn and also a secret i you know in the beginning of my career i was so emotional and it almost did a thing to, especially in the entertainment law practice. Mm -hmm. I was emotional towards some of my artists, or some of the labels I worked with. And when I saw things going wrong, it almost affected me. But I had to learn on my own to, you know, do not mix business with emotions. Yeah. And that doesn't make me a hard person. I also still consider my clients. When I am working with people, I try to put myself in their shoes and try my possible best to help them legally 
mm-hmm. and also to serve as like a business strategist to them. Maybe wow. you can do this, you can do this, you can do yeah. that. Which is yeah. not necessarily the work of a lawyer, but I like to just, you know, work with them. Like you can relate with what they are going through to help Ab- solve absolute, their issues. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So that's it. Yeah, thank you for for that. I really appreciate your insight, you know. One thing that I I remember about my dad when I was growing up is always saying that, you know, that first impression lasts longer. That try to that try when you meet people for the first time, give them a good impression because you might not have opportunity yes. to redeem to yourself to give them a second second version of you so you always try to give people the first impression and same thing to business you know of course. you don't just do things because i'm making money from me money, you, know? it's not always about you have money. to yeah you have to make your service all about your clients and thank you for sharing that 